In this video, we present the case of an 82-year-old woman who underwent elective ERCP complicated by perforation of the proximal esophagus. CT confirmed a leak into the superior posterior mediastinum. She underwent emergent left cervical exploration and drainage. A clear source of the leak was not able to be identified. Postoperatively, she developed ongoing sepsis characterized by uncontrolled rapid atrial fibrillation. Esophagogram suggested ongoing leak and CT confirmed leak into the mediastinum with abscess formation. She was taken back to the operating room with a plan for gastroscopy followed by repeat neck exploration. On gastroscopy, with the aid of a clear endoscopic cap, we identified a small Zenker's diverticulum with a perforation. This is seen on the left and the true esophageal lumen on the right. With the mouth of the diverticulum held open, we decompressed the mediastinal abscess draining a large amount of purulent debris. The patient's tachyarrhythmia resolved intraoperatively following drainage of the mediastinal abscess. The abscess was irrigated and suctioned until clear. A Jackson Pratt drain was placed transnasally and manipulated endoscopically into the abscess cavity. Is this working now? The cavity was further irrigated yeah, through the drain. Yeah. Okay. Here we see the drain was coiled in the posterior or pharynx. Traction was placed on the drain to straighten it. This is the final appearance of the drain with the perforation on the left and the true esophageal lumen on the right. Postoperative radiograph confirmed placement of the drain within the mediastinal cavity. Nutrition was given by a percutaneous gastrostomy through the course of her hospital stay. She was tolerating clear fluids prior to discharge. She was followed endoscopically as an outpatient. The drain was removed under endoscopic guidance at eight weeks following surgery. CT confirmed resolution of the mediastinal abscess. Thank you.